Hey everyone, welcome to the module about neural networks. In this module, we will see how to train a neural network using a notebook, a Jupyter notebook with a GPU. In the videos of this module, we use AWS SageMaker. This module was recorded one year ago, but now actually with AWS, it's a bit difficult to get a notebook, a Jupyter notebook with a GPU. So you need to create a ticket, you need to ask for GPU, you need to explain why you need a GPU and often the support declines your request. So I want to show you an alternative method. We partnered with Saturn Cloud and Saturn Cloud offers notebooks with GPUs. So in the description to this video, you will find this link. Yeah, so let's uh, go there. So this brings us to Southern Cloud. Note that this link has a UTM tag. So it's important to use this link so the folks from Southern Cloud can track that you sign up to Southern Cloud using this link. So now, uh, because I already signed up, so you probably need to click here. I will just log in because I have already signed up. And now I will show you how to set up the environment uh, for this module. So the first thing, if you want to save your results using Git, if you want to push your notebooks to GitHub, the first thing you need to do is you need to configure SSH. So feel free to skip this part if you don't want to do this because at the end you can just download the notebook. But um, in case you want to be able to push directly from Southern Cloud instance, I want to show you first how to configure Git access. So let's go to secret. And I already created a secret. This is the name of the file. This is my key that I generated for GitHub. I will show you how to create a similar one. So click on new, and this will be the name. I am now in my .ssh location, and these are the files I have. So you need to get content of this file. So let me just copy the name. I'll put it here. I'll call it example. And I have this fake key. Of course, I don't want to show you the content of my private key. So I'll just show you a fake key that I generated. So the real key will look something similar. And what I want to do now is I want to copy it. So I copy it and I paste it to the value. And then at the end, um, yeah, it's important that, that there is a new line after this one when end open SSH private key. So to make sure that the open line stays here, just add any character here. Dot is fine. And then we click add. And this is how you add your private key to secrets. And this one contains my real private key. So now I will go back to resources and I will click here, new resource from a template. And here, luckily, we already have a template with TensorFlow. This one, TensorFlow Python. So I just click on this one and I call it Clothes Classification, Clothes Classification ML Zoom Camp, for example. So let's create it and I want to change it slightly. So I'll click on edit and then here we can specify what kind of extra packages we want to install. So I'll go here to pip and I want to specify a requirements.txt file with all the extra packages we want to install. So in our case, we only need to install SciPy, only one extra package. But let's say if you want to add any custom stuff here, I don't know, for your project maybe, then this is the place where you add your extra packages. And that's pretty much it. So now let's just save it. Then um, the other thing we need to do is go to secrets and add a secret file we just created here. So attach a secret file, then I'll select this one and the path should be, so this is the name of the user on the instance, on, on the remote machine, and then it will be .ssh.default. So this is the name that uh, Saturn Cloud uses for SSH keys. Default description could be, I don't know, SSH key for GitHub. So create. And of course, yeah, if you're not interested in accessing GitHub from your notebook instance, ignore that. Now let's go to overview, click start. So it will take some time. It, interestingly for me, it took one or two minutes. Sometimes it takes more, probably because I ran something just a few minutes ago for testing for a dry run. So when you run this, um, you can expect that it might take four, maybe even five minutes for the first time. And then I click here, Jupyter Notebook, and then you will have the exactly same interface as in the rest of the model. So for the rest of the module, for the other videos of this module, we use Jupyter Notebooks through SageMaker. 
but this is a usual Jupyter Notebook interface. So now let me first create a terminal because I want to show you how to check that. Uh, first we want to check if uh, GitHub, if we can actually connect to GitHub. So I'll do ssh minus t git at github.com. So we just want to test the connection and yeah, it can authenticate me and what it means that all the content we have here we can just uh, do git init and uh, add like git add readme this one and commit it and then push it to github right so i will not do it right now what i will show you is how can we clone the data set we need for this module. So for this module, we will use the clothing dataset. So this one you will see later uh, in other videos explaining what is inside this dataset. So here I just want to show you how to clone this. So you can use either HTTPS if you haven't configured GitHub key or SSH if you did configure the SSH key. So I'll go with this one, uh, it doesn't matter. And I'll just do git clone this one. Now we have the data set and finally we can create a notebook. So this is how we create a notebook and I can just test if TensorFlow is working. Import TensorFlow STF and the version of TensorFlow we have here on this instance on this notebook it should be quite new. Yes, this is a quite a new version and then you can just use this notebook to follow along the rest of the module and also for the homework. The homework we will also train a neural network. You can also use this machine with a GPU for your homework. Okay, that's it. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the materials. Bye.